This folk tale is titled The Mouse Trap. Once there was a mouse, and he was looking out through a crack in the wall, and he was looking. There was a farmer and the farmer's wife at the kitchen table, and they had brought a bag home from the market. And he was thinking, oh, maybe there's cheese in that bag. But when the farmer's wife reached into the bag and pulled her hand out, it was not any cheese. No, it was a trap, a mouse trap. And that mouse got so scared, he ran outside into the barnyard. Now, the first person he came to was Hen. And he said, Hen, Hen, there's, there's a trap. There's a mouse trap in the house. Oh, that's, that's terrible. That's so scary. But I got to go see my chicks. And I'll, I'll tell everybody. Bye. She's gone. Then he saw a pig. Pig, pig, there's a trap. There's a trap. There's a mouse trap in the house. <coughs> oh, scary. Oh, no, no, no. But you see, I'm late for my mud bath. But I'll pray for you. Don't worry. Pfft, and she's gone. Horse, horse, there's a trap. There's a trap. There's a mouse trap in the house. <laughs> a mouse trap. Who do I have time to think about traps? I'm the one that does all the work around here. This afternoon, I've got to go plow the back 40, so don't bother me about any traps. Oh, oh, oh. Cow, cow, there's a trap. There's a trap. There's a mouse trap in the house. Ooh, how scary. Not. So the mouse went back into the house. And later that night, in the middle of the night, in the dark of the night, we heard that sound. The farmer's wife jumped up. She thought for sure she must have caught that mouse. She went into the kitchen and reached down. But it was not a mouse in the trap. It was a poisonous snake. And that poisonous snake bit her. And she screamed, ah! And the farmer jumped out of bed. He came and he killed the snake. And he picked up his wife. He put her in the wagon, he hooked up the horse to the wagon, and there they drove to the doctor's house. And he drove her hard, too. So when they finally got to the doctor's house, the horse was so exhausted, he just croaked. Well, the next day, the neighbors came over, and they brought the farmer and the farmer's wife back to the house. Now the farmer's wife was not doing well and she had a fever and you know what's good for a fever. That's right. <laughs> chicken soup. And that was the end of that chicken. Right into the pot she went. But it still didn't help the farmer's wife. She was still ill. She was getting iller all the time and so the neighbors came over to help her out. And with all those new mouths to feed, what was the farmer to do? But Butcher the pig. But things still went bad for the farmer's wife. And she finally died of that snake bite. Now the farmer's wife was loved by everybody in the community. So they all came, and relatives too. And what was a farmer to do? Mmm, he heard out in the barn. He goes, mmm, that's what I need to do. And he butchered that cow. So the next time you hear that there's a trap, a trap, a mouse trap in the house. Let it be known, the whole barnyard is at risk.